Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge and welcome to another week of School Lunch Inspiration. Okay guys, now just a few things before we get started. First off, make sure to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you like school lunch videos. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you're back to school yet. My kids just went back this week, so that means a lot more school lunches. Now on to this week's shout out. It goes to Emma for leaving us our first comment on last week's breakfast video, which I hope you guys love. So thank you, Emma, for giving us that comment. Now I think that's everything, so let's get started. Good morning, friends, and welcome to Monday. Right now I have Mackenzie and Lily and even Griffin here helping me. Say hi. Hi. Can you say hi, Griffin? He says no, he can't. <laughs> but he is here watching me. Hi. So today is what, Mackenzie? PB&J day. That's right, but to make it a little bit more fun, instead of using regular bread, I'm using mini whole wheat pancakes. I just started by making a bunch of them this morning, and then I went ahead and put them on these cute little picks. So it's kind of a pattern. We have a pancake and then peanut butter, and then another pancake and then jam, and then another pancake and peanut butter, and so on. So, doesn't that look cute? Yeah. It's gonna yeah. be super fun to eat. Did you say yeah? Griffin thinks it's fun too. I did make him some pancakes too, but I'm not gonna put it in a lunchbox. I'm just gonna give it to him. Now to go along with that today, we're also having some milk. We're reusing our special bottles that we made at Christmas time. Now in a lot of parts of the country right now, it's snowing, but here in California, it's just rain. But we are still having our snowman just for fun. Does it look cute? Yeah. And I just put half of milk in there because they don't really drink a ton of milk. Just a half is fine for them. And I am including the ice pack right in the corner just to keep it nice and cold. Now to go along with that today, of course we have a vegetable. I put some cucumber slices and I just went ahead and cut them in a crinkle cut to make them, to make them fun. And I added a cute little pick in there. In this little container, of course, we have our homemade ranch to go along with our cucumbers. And then in this corner, we just have a few little pieces of cheddar cheese that I made into the shape of a flower. Doesn't it look cute? Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot our banana. We're also having a little quarter of a banana today. And I did just cut off the ends a little bit so the whole thing's not gonna turn brown. And it fits in the lunch box better that way. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the finishing touches on these bananas to make them extra fun. I recently got all these little fun eye picks. So we're gonna go ahead and put one in each banana to make it look like a monster banana. <laughs> look silly? Yeah. 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 These picks are so fun. I found these on Amazon. I'll go ahead and link them down below if you're curious. So that is everything in the lunch today. I'm gonna go ahead and get our lids on and then we will be out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, time to see what they ate. Right now I actually have all the kids with me. Say hi. Hi. So how was the lunch today? It was really good. Yeah. Here's Mackenzie's. Here's Jackson's. Uh-oh, Jackson. Uh-oh. And I can see Lily's. So let's start with Mackenzie's first. Mackenzie, what'd you think? It was really, really good. What? I especially love the pancakes. The pancakes? Did you eat everything? Yep. It looks like you did. Even yep. your cucumbers. Good job. The cucumbers and you, were also my favorite part. They were, and you drank all your milk. Good job. Now let's check Lily. Oh, this is Jackson's. Uh-oh, Jackson. What happened to your pancakes? Were you too full? Uh, yeah, because I didn't really want to eat that much bread. Oh, okay. Um, sandwiches. Well, what else did you eat? You ate your most of your cucumbers, so that's pretty good. You ate your banana, and you drank your milk. So, overall, not too bad. And this is still good. Anybody want to have this right now? No, I can't eat this. <laughs> okay, let's check Lily's. Now, I know Lily, she actually shared some with Griffin today, so he had some of her pancakes, which is why they're all gone. So, that was good. You guys shared it? I shared with Griffin. Thank you for sharing. Good job. So, you ate all of your cucumbers and you drank all your milk. So, very good job today, guys. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. We are running late, so I'm gonna quickly show you what we're packing today. I started with a turkey and cheese sandwich which I cut into the shape of a dinosaur. And then recently I got a bunch of new picks that look like eyeballs. Aren't those cute? What do you think, Kenzie? They look cute. They look fun. 
So we have a dinosaur with googly eyes. We also have some broccoli with some little eye picks. We have some cheddar bunnies, a little cutie tangerine, and right in this thing we have some ranch to go along with the broccoli. Does it look cute, you guys? Yeah! Now today I'm also gonna be putting in a granola bar, and you guys are gonna love this. Yes! Fruit snacks! Yeah! <laughs> so yes, it's a very fun lunch today. They're also gonna be taking their water bottles. Do you have yours? Yep. Okay, go put it in your backpack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on. I need to get my ice pack in there and then we are out the door. And we'll show you what they ate when we get back. Okay guys, time to see what they ate. It's actually almost 6 p.m. now and it's close to dinner time, but I'm just now having time to do this. I have, I have Mackenzie, I have Lily, and I have Griffin here with me. Say hi. Hi. You wanna say hi? No hi from Griffin. Okay, and I forgot to mention that on Tuesdays the kids go to their co-op and that's when they have a nut-free campus. So, today's lunch was nut-free. Was it good, Mackenzie? Yeah. All right, so let's see how you did. You didn't put your lid on, but that's okay. You didn't really spill, huh? Yeah. It looks like you ate everything, huh? Yeah. Even your gummies. What was your favorite part? The gummies. Did you like your eyes? Yeah. Did your friend see the eyes and think it was funny? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's check Jackson's. Jackson didn't do very well at all. I'm not sure what his deal was, and he's not here to tell me, but he left some crackers. I don't think he ate like any broccoli. He ate a couple of bites of his sandwich. He didn't, I don't think he ate any ranch. Nope, no ranch. <laughs> so the only thing he ate was the gummies? Uh-huh, and the oak bar. Oh yeah, he ate his granola bar. So you ate your granola bar too, huh? Yep. Well, let's check Lily's. How'd it go, Lily? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Oh, Jackson ate his orange, because Lily ate her orange. You ate your broccoli, except these little pieces. You don't like these pieces? Yeah, I don't like stems. You don't like stems? But did you like your ranch? Yeah. You did, it's like all gone, good job. And you ate your granola bar, you ate all of your crackers. Good job today, Lily. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys, and happy Wednesday. It is almost lunchtime, so I have Lily here helping me make some Hawaiian pizzas. Are you ready, Lily? Yeah. Okay, so for our pizzas today, we're gonna start with some Greek pita bread, which is actually just a nice, soft piece of bread. It's really nice and easy and quick for making some pizzas. Now, to that, we're also gonna add some pieces of some fully cooked turkey bacon, and of course, we have some pineapple and some mozzarella cheese, and our sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop up the fully cooked turkey bacon and then Lily's gonna help me put the pizzas together. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. So for lunch today, I'm only gonna be making two of these pizzas and the kids are going to share them because one whole pizza would be too much for you, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna make this one and then you make that one. Okay. Good job, Lily. Thank you. Now I like to sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on the top and a little bit of Italian seasoning. This just makes it so yummy. Okay. And it makes the whole house smell delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes or until everything is melted. Okay guys, lunch is ready and I basically had all the kids helping me today, so thanks guys. Thanks. Bye. So our pizzas smell delicious. These are the pineapple and bacon pizzas. And then to go along with that, I have something really fun and special. We have a little fruit kebab snake with the cute little eyes. What do you guys think? Cool. Yeah. Cool. And then in this corner, I do have some veggies today. We just have some sugar snap peas and a little piece of sweet bell pepper with some ranch for dipping. Does it look good? Yeah. Okay, so two full pizzas might be a little bit much for Lily, so if you have any left over, you can save it for later. Okay? Yeah. Does it look good? Yeah. yeah. All right, here's Mackenzie's. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It looks delicious. Yep, eat it all gone. Thank you. Okay guys, lunchtime is over, and as you can tell, they did really well today. Mackenzie ate everything, Jackson ate pretty much everything, he left a little bit of pineapple, and Lily, I'm shocked, you ate a lot of pizza. <laughs> I didn't think you could, you could eat that much. You must have been really hungry, huh? What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was really, really good. Yeah? 
You yeah. really like Hawaiian pizza? Yeah. And we'll see you on Thursday. Good morning guys and welcome to Thursday. Today is a super cold day, so I wanted to make sure to send the kids with something hot. And it feels like it's been a while since I've used my thermoses, so that's exactly what I'm doing today. In the thermoses today, I'm sending some Annie's organic cheese ravioli, which the kids actually haven't tried before, so we'll see if they like them or not. I started by preheating all of my thermoses by just putting some hot boiling water in each while I heated up the raviolis. And I got these raviolis super hot. Then I got rid of the water in the thermoses and filled them up. I made sure to put plenty of the sauce in there as well because it really helps to keep the ravioli hot in the thermos. Now I used to love these kind of raviolis when I was a kid, but my husband thought that they were really gross. So we'll see if the kids like them or if they don't. Now to go along with this, I'm also including some salami. I just took some reduced sodium salami. I get this at Costco, it's really very good. And to make it fun, I rolled it up and stuck it on a little skewer. For our vegetable today, I'm serving some cucumbers. I still have a lot of cucumbers that I'm trying to use up before they go bad. But to make it fun, I went ahead and cut them into large chips using my crinkle cutter, so they're really large pieces. And just because I didn't want to dirty up another container, I went ahead and put a scoop of the ranch just in the side there, and not a separate container. I did include a cute little pick, however, just to make it fun. And lastly, in today's lunch, I'm also including a whole apple. These are actually pretty small apples, so I think the kids will be fine with them. And a string cheese. I don't think they're gonna need anything else today. They're not gonna be gone all day, so they can definitely have snacks at home as well. And they are gonna be taking their water bottles as well. So now I just have to get my lids on. I am gonna put an ice pack in there today, and then we can head out the door. And of course, when we get back, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys. And we're back home now. And here's what we ate. I met Jackson and Lily here helping me say hi. 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 So how was lunch today? Good. Good and not so good? Yeah. Okay, so let's check and see. I see that Mackenzie ate all of her salami and all of her cucumbers. Let's check her thermos. Oh, she ate all of her ravioli. She just left a little bit of sauce in there. Let's check Jackson's. How did you do, Jack? Good. I see that you didn't eat your string cheese. How come? Are you just too full? Are you working on your cucumbers right now? He had a few of these left, but he's eating them right now. And let's see in here. Oh, you ate all of your ravioli? Did you like them? Were they good? Were they still really hot when you ate them? Uh-huh. Yeah? All right, and you ate your apple? Good job. Let's check Lily's. Lily, how'd you do? I did okay. I see that you have a few cucumbers left. I bet you ate all your salami, and you ate most of your apple. But what about the raviolis? Did you eat any? Did I ate one, but it didn't taste real good. You don't think it was good? Yeah. So you only ate one? Well, that's a bummer. But you liked everything else. So Mackenzie and Jackson liked them, but Lily <coughs> didn't, huh? All right. See you on Friday. Okay guys, so today's lunch is super fun and I have Lily here helping me say hi. Hi. Now today I'm serving some make your own taco kits. Now it looks kind of elaborate, but really it's just leftovers. We had tacos for dinner last night and these are the leftovers. But it came out really fun and hopefully the kids will love them. I started off with some small flour tortillas. These are called the street taco size and they're really nice, soft, and chewy, and they don't break when I roll them up, so that's perfect. So I just rolled them up and then added a pick to keep them together. Now in this little corner over here, I included some shredded cheddar cheese and lots of lettuce, so they can definitely build their own tacos. Now you could add any other toppings you like for tacos, but my kids would like it pretty plain. In the thermoses today, I have the leftover taco meat from our dinner. Now this is just some ground up turkey, which I've added some taco seasoning and a little bit of sour cream, and I just reheated it in the microwave and I got it really nice and hot. Then I put about two tacos worth of meat in each thermos, which I did preheat, by the way, with some hot boiling water. Now Lily, do you know what this is? This is something new. I found these little containers at the Dollar Tree and they're BPA free, so that's good. 
but it's basically a little squeezy container for salad dressings or other toppings. So today I actually have some sour cream in here, but I mix the sour cream with a little bit of mild salsa and some taco seasoning. So there's some flavoring in there as well. So the kids just have to open it up and they can add a little squirt of sour cream to their taco. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. You can make it yourself. That sounds fun. It might be a little bit messy, but I think you'll like it. So to go along with our lunch today, I am adding one little cutie. I have a big bag of these. I'm trying to use them up. And then we have a treat today. Some of the Mott's Medley's fruit snacks. Do you guys like these? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my lids on. I am gonna put an ice pack in there today just so the sour cream doesn't go bad. And because you're taking water. And that is it. And we'll see you when we get back. <laughs> We're back home now and this is what we ate. <laughs> Good job. I've got Mackenzie here. I've got Lily here. Say hi. Hi. So how was your lunch today? It was really, really good. It was yeah. the best lunch of all week. All week? Yeah. So your favorite? Yeah. What'd you think, Lily? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, well let's see if you ate everything or not. First, let's check on Mackenzie's. Let's see in here. Oh. It's pretty much all gone. Just a little bit of lettuce left, not too bad. And let's see your sauce. Uh, it's clean, yeah, not too bad. You ate most of that. And then how, how about your taco meat? <gasps> you ate everything. You can't believe it. Good job, Mackenzie. Thank you. Was it fun to make your own tacos? Yeah. Yeah, so let's check Jackson's. Jackson, you wanna come over here or no? 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 Okay, he's not gonna help us today, but he ate all of his cheese and his lettuce. Both of his tortillas are gone. His sauce is gone. Let's check in here. You ate all of it too? Uh -huh. Was it really good? Uh -huh. But was it messy? Not really. Not really. Let's check Lily's. <laughs> Lily, oh, you left a little bit of your lettuce. And here's the peel from your orange. Pretty good. Let's see. Uh-oh, you have some meat left over. Were you too full? Yeah. But you ate both of your tortillas and your orange and your sauce is gone. So, very good job today, guys. We will definitely be making those again. Awesome! And we'll see you next week. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, if you end up making any fun lunches, don't forget to take a picture, put it on Instagram, and use the hashtag bunches of lunches. That way I can see your fun lunches. I've been able to see several of your creations so far and they are awesome, so keep them coming. I'd love to see what you make for lunch. Now if you'd like to see last week's video where I actually made breakfast ideas, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, which was a Disney haul, you can click on the link down there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.